Hello everybody, my name is Katie Hunt and I am here at the Indiana State Museum today and I have a challenge for you. I am challenging you to use a simple salad spinner to create some space art. And we are going to be creating our own spin art nebulas today. Now a nebula is a cloud of dust and gas in space uh, that is created by a dying star. And NASA scientists, when they're studying these, they uh, assign different colors to the elements that we might not be able to see with our eyes. And it creates these amazing images that help us to learn a little bit more about space. And that's what we're gonna do today. So what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to gather up a salad spinner. Um, you're gonna want some paint. I'm using some fluorescent tempera non-toxic paint today. Um, you're gonna need some circles of black paper that fit in the bottom of your salad spinner. Um, you're gonna need a place to get a little bit messy and you're gonna need a little bit of water to mix in with that paint. And so once you've gathered all of your supplies, then we can get to work and I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. All right, I've got all of my supplies gathered up right here and so I'm ready to get started. First things first, I have my salad spinner here and mine has this little basket that comes out of it and so I've measured this circle here and I've cut a piece of black construction paper that will fit right in the bottom here. So I'll just slip that right in the bottom, put that back in the container there. And now comes the fun part. I've got my paint. Now my paint, I took some paint out of my big jars like this right here, put it in smaller squeezy bottles. And I mixed three parts paint with one part water to make sure my paint is nice and runny. For this but it's not too wet so that way it can dry okay so now what i need to do is i need to put 10 drops total of my paint in the bottom and so as i'm doing that i want to recommend that you use at least three different colors of paint you can go even further than that if you'd like um, but three colors will really give you some spectacular art so let's see and while you're doing this you can think about what you think is gonna happen? Make a hypothesis. Think, what's gonna happen to my paint in this process here? A salad spinner, it spins. If you've ever created spin art before, this is how you can do it at home, really easily. Okay, so now I've got just enough paint in the bottom here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up this whole thing and I'm gonna kinda of swirl it around and kinda of get all of my colors to blend together. And I just want to make sure that all these drops are touching each other in this process here. Okay, so now that I've done that a few times, I've taken it in some big, slow circles. I'm going to set it down nice and flat on my counter here. I'm going to put the lid back on. Now this is a very fancy salad spinner. I only have to hit it a few times for it to work. All right, looks like it's doing its thing. Hmm. I'm gonna bring it to a stop. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Ooh, let me show you exactly what it looks like. I think it kind of looks like a flower where all of my paint has kind of swirled off to that one side. I wonder why it only went in that one direction. I wonder if I put more paint on it, what would happen? And that's my challenge for you. I want you to try this activity at home and see what you can create and make sure you share all of your artwork with us in the comments. So have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me today.